Today we want to talk about lithophanes, which is an interesting process by which, moving, you can create these interesting pictures. And the way these are printed is they're printed standing up, and they're done so because you get a nice soft feel. You also can print on rotated surfaces like this if you print standing up, which works out really nice. So you can do it with any color. I'm using this Sandoz PLAF, and it's an interesting filament. It has a little bit of ABS in it, but it's really nicely wound. It's very soft. It does have some of that ABS in it with the F. However, there's no smell. It, it prints at the same temperatures as standard PLA, and I, I just find that it is one of the best filaments I've worked with for lithophanes. So what you want to do is pick your picture. In the case, I had this guy here, and it was a picture of my flower right here. And as you can see it, and you can just take any picture. And now let's go to the computer and see what it looks like. Okay, go to Google and enter Lithophane Maker Generator. You're going to find it. It's a pretty easy site to get to. There's one person, and he's worked on this. He's made it free for everyone. He has a YouTube channel. You can look at more information out there. But look at all of these options. Here is the nightlight that I did. Um, I've made the light box for the grandparents. That's always popular. Notice you can do it in other colors. It's not just white. And look at this ceiling fan cover. It is stunning. So let's go in and let's do flat lithophane. This is the one I did for the dog picture I had. So you just pick any image file you have and it will load it in. And you can do all sorts of changes to it. One thing you want to notice is it does have a profile here. It's going to need some sort of edge to stand on, but you can make that thicker or thinner. There are a lot of other options and you can mess around with it. It's pretty neat to see what the results are. I, for the most part, pretty much take the defaults. All you need to do is enter an email address. There's no commitment or anything. There's no cost to this. And after you enter the email address, you press the button and a, an, an STL file will be sent to your computer. Bing. So load up your slicer and bring the STL file in. It will be in a containing folder. There it goes. And at this point, it's pretty much ready to send to the printer. You don't need to do a lot of changes, but you may notice that there are a lot of errors. Don't worry about it. It's going to print fine. For the nightlight, I took a picture of this 3D printed model. It's the same process. You load it up and send it to the printer. And for this, you need a standard little nightlight. It slides in and that's all there is and it looks beautiful. Have fun printing your own lithophanes.